So today I will show you uh, how to burn ball with electricity. I don't know how to call that in English. I think it's pyrofractal or something like that. So I will take this ball and I will turn it really fast. Uh, it's not a pretty ball. It's a very ugly cherry ball that I made long time ago. And it's too thin uh, to turn it again so I'm gonna remove the edge and turn it so let's go Okay, now I'm gonna tell you everything I know about burning with electricity. I did a lot of burning with electricity this summer, so I learned a couple tricks that will help you have a very nice burning pattern. So, the first thing you need to know is it's uh, don't put a lot of water on your pieces, just uh, take something like a towel and put some water for like five minutes let the water penetrate the wood and after the uh, after like maybe 10 minutes after the wood it's uh, very wet inside you need to let uh, maybe two minutes the ball without water to remove all excess of water from the surface the surface of the pieces okay before I start burning I want to tell you something when you put baking soda and water on a pieces of wood uh, depends on the wood if it's cherry it will change the color of the piece uh, cherry become more darker uh, walnut become like green and other type of wood will react with the baking soda uh, and will react more if you put the pieces under the sun so watch for that if you if you don't want your wood to change color don't do that like you will see my ball when it will be finished my ball will be a lot darker than a normal cherry ball and I will put some other example of cherry ball that become very very red and orange so let's start burning If you check that piece, it's a black cherry, and the cherry became very dark red. I turned this piece this summer, so don't check the piece, so I only check the color. The piece is not very uh, well turned. So that's an example. Okay, I'm gonna start burning, so I wait for the ball to be a little bit, not dry, but still wet, but just inside and as you see it burned very well it don't do a flame that burn your bowl it just do pattern so that's what you want it will be a very nice pattern when you burn a bowl like that 
you always burn uh, on the end grain or close to the end grain. If you try to burn on the side grain, it will not work. It will be a very ugly burn. You will see it in a second. So now I'm trying, I'm showing you uh, when you burn on side, look what it did. It, it's not, you, you can try move your probe, you can try anything, it will not work very well. It will only do some very little pattern, but not very nice. So if you change the side a little bit, just like on the end grain, it worked very well. So it's a couple inches uh, beside the end grain, uh, the side grain, but it worked very well. So that's something I learned from doing that. So I tell you now, so you will, if you got a beautiful piece and you don't want a, a, a mess with that piece, don't try to burn on side grain. Another thing you need to know, when you burn, don't put your probe close to each other. Because if you do that, your probe will, I don't know the word in English for that, but they will uh, communicate and they will do a big flame. That can burn the wood and do uh, a spot of burning on your wood that will not be a pattern, so it will not be nice. And after you did your burning, uh, you need to take uh, some water and rinse uh, the burning spot with water to clean the carbon on the, the bowl. So the pattern will be more visible and more uh, clean and crisp. So you need to wash it with water and can take uh, I don't know uh, you can take your ball under the shower and put some high pressure jet on it not too high but to remove all the the carbon uh, leave by the the burning process so after that what I usually do is put the ball back on the lathe and try to dry it as fast as possible so it will not become very very dark so what i did is just take a towel and do some friction so the friction will dry the waters out of the bowl and at the same time with the towel you buff the bowl so you will have a very nice clean smooth surface after the buffing process so now I'm just finishing the bowl and put a finish on it and that's it. It's not a beautiful bowl like I said before. It's just it was an example to show you the burning trick I know. So I wish that could be helpful for someone. So thanks again guys for watching. If you have any question uh, Feel free to leave me a comment, I will answer it. And take care, see you in the next video.